Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. This is part two of our Unify Access video series. In this video, we're going to create a subnet for our Unify Access, and we're going to adopt the elements into our Unify Access controller. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server. I'll put a link in the description below. So first, let's take a look at the network topology. I'm using a UDM Pro, and that will host my Unify Access controller, and that's plugged into a few different switches. The main switch we're plugging our Unify Access gear into is a USW24 Pro PoE switch. And this switch has PoE++, which we need for our Unify Access. From the USW24 Pro PoE, we have my Unify Hub, and that's plugged into one of the PoE++ ports. And from that, we're plugging in our UA Lite and our UA Pro. For some reason on the diagram, it's showing both of our readers plugged in directly to the USW24 Pro. The first thing we need to do is to create a network for our Unify Access. I'm on my UDM Pro right now, and I'll click onto my network controller. From the network controller, I'm going to go to the settings wheel, and then we're going to click on networks. I'm going to add a new network, and I'm going to call this Unify Access. The router will be Mac Telecom, which is my UDM Pro, and then we're going to go to the advanced settings. Under here, I'm going to give it a VLAN ID of 60. We'll scroll down and then we'll turn off auto scale. Under the gateway IP subnet, I'm going to change this to 192.168.60.1 slash 24, and then I'm going to auto configure the DHCP range. And then we're going to add the network. Now with the network created, we need to go and tag the port that the Unify Access Hub is plugged into to be into the Unify Access Network. There's a few ways we could do that. We could look up on the client list to see where the Unify Access Hub is, but I know it's in port 23 of my USW24 Pro PoE. So I'm going to go to my Unify devices, and then I'll click on the Unify Access switch. From here, we'll go to settings and then ports. I'll scroll down to port 23, which is my Unify Access Hub. And then under port profile, we're going to switch this from all to Unify Access. And then we'll apply the changes. For the Unify Access Hub to get the IP quicker, I'm going to port power cycle and then we'll press confirm. And that will just reboot our Unify Access Hub. Now with the port power cycled, we could see that it's getting the correct network. We could see all of our Unify Access devices down here and they're all in the Unify Access Network getting the 192.168.60.x. Next thing we need to do, we need to enable the Unify Access Controller if it's not enabled already, and mine isn't. So we'll go back to the main page of the UDM, and then we'll go to the settings wheel. From here, we'll click on updates, and we can see that Unify Access is stopped, and we're gonna start Unify Access. The Unify Access Controller has started, and the status is up to date. If your firmware is out of date, I suggest you updating it. Now we'll go ahead and get into the Unify Access Controller just by clicking on it. The first thing we need to do in the Unify Access Controller is to specify that new subnet that we created. So we'll go down to the settings, we'll go over to preferences, and then under the network, we're going to want it to access Unify Access, that new subnet that we created, and then press apply changes. Now, if we go look at the Unify Access devices, we should be able to adopt all of the elements. So I'll click on the devices, and then in the right hand corner, we'll press adopt devices. We can see the UA Hub, the UA Pro, and the UA Lite. We can see that it has a floor here and also a door. We won't be able to adopt these devices until we have a door selected, and right now there's no results found. If I press Adopt Devices, it will say Door Name and Floor is required. So what we need to do, we need to add that. So in the left hand pane, if we click Locations, we could add a door. So we'll add a location, and then we'll call the floor name First Floor. And then we'll press Add Floor. From this location of the first floor, we'll click on the three dots and we'll add a door. And we'll name this front door. And this type of door will be a regular door, but they have a couple different ones. We have a double door, we have a sliding door, and we have a crash bar door. I'll press save, and then we could go back to our devices. Now if we click adopt devices, we should be able to select the floor of first floor and then the door of front door. And now we could press adopt devices. Now you can see all of the elements have adopted into our Unify Access Controller. In the next video, we'll hook up an electric strike and a request to exit button. And we'll also get more into the configuration and adding some users. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.